And I am going to continue talking about my creative art quilt process. The last video, the first video that I made about my current art quilt project, I took a reference photograph and I started working on the foundation by creating, first creating line art and then putting that line art directly onto the foundation fabric. So I started with this reference photo and then moved to creating that line art from the reference photo. And this is where I'm going to start with um, as I start creating my fabric palette and working into collage and the other art mixed media techniques that I'm going to use for this quilt. So as I move forward in the process and start looking at the fabric choices and um, thinking about what I'm going to use for fabric, I, I don't really have any like formula that I follow. Um, a few of the things that I rely on are the um, basic color theory, um, which I, a long time ago, I created this. Uh, which is just kind of like my own personal little color palette reference. Um, it's a way for me to remember the color wheel and I kind of use it as a tool as I pick my fabric. Um, I also rely a lot on value and I didn't create a um, value scale for this particular reference photo, but what I've done in the past is I've kind of identified the values and I sort of have gotten to a uh, a point in my creative process where I can kind of pick out those values um, without actually having to identify them like on paper or on the foundation fabric. Um, but I do use values uh, as I think about what fabrics I'm going to choose. And then honestly, it's really about what's fun. Like I like picking fabrics that have a lot of texture, sometimes that have a lot of like personality, so to speak. So I really use a lot of that when I think about the fabrics that I'm gonna choose. These are the fabrics that I've chosen. I'm not sure how many I have. About 22 fabrics that I've chosen for the Possum Art Quilt. And when I go shopping for fabric at my local quilt shop, I'm kind of boring. I choose fabrics that are sort of dullish colors sometimes, um, plain. They don't have a whole lot of prints or, um, you know, uh, they do have a lot of textures. The prints have textures, but they don't have like branded prints or flowers often, things like that. And the reason for that is because I want to use my fabric as a palette, just like if I were going to have paint. So I choose colors that I feel can build a palette that I can then pull from as I'm creating the art quilt. My fabric pull for the possum art quilt started with color. So I looked at the inspiration photograph that I have and identified colors that I wanted to use. This is not actually brown, it's more of like a grayish, but I am going to try to incorporate some browns to create some values and um, focus on the grays that are in the possum because the possums are gray and the tree looks sort of gray. So I wanted to kind of bring more browns into the tree to create some color contrast. There's greens that are in the leaves in the tree and then the possums themselves are a variety of kind of grays and creams and with adorable little pink noses. So when I looked at my fabrics and I pulled from my stash, I started first with color. So here I've got several different color um, fabric choices. I've got the grays and the creams, um, pinks, all the greens and then some more options for the trees, blacks and grays, and then browns. And the reason that I'm starting with color or hue is because I'm trying to create a realistic art quilt image. 
So I'm using colors that could potentially be found in nature. And many of these are kind of nature-ish designs as well. So as I think about color and value and hue and tone, I want to use that color and value for focus. So focus of the art itself, focus of the subject. And the values are light to dark, um, which is a good way to create that focus and also add depth and make it more realistic. Also, I'm thinking about contrast and how those values are going to create contrast. In my inspiration photo, there's definitely high contrast in areas of the possum, um, especially the faces and the eyes and the ears. And that contrast is really important to being, being able to create the depth that I want in this realistic representation. So for example, the fabrics that I chose for the possums, which are grays and creams, um, they go all the way from dark to light. And that contrast is really important because as I start to pull the lights and the darks together, that will help to create depth. So as I look at my darkest and my lightest fabrics, the greens, dark and to light, with, there are mediums in between, dark to light, dark gray, and um, a textured, lighter, kind of branch looking fabric. The dark brown and the um, dark to cream for the possums itself. So it's interesting to look at value from a perspective of black and white. So if I take my original um, fabric pull and make that into black and white digitally, you can really see the values. I also want to think about texture when I'm choosing my fabrics because texture can really represent different elements of the art quilt. Um, for example, I've got this really great brown, black, gray texture, which would be good for the branch, the large branch and the tree trunk. Um, there is a sort of leaf texture on this fabric. Um, this one I chose for the possum because it could simulate like the hairs of the, the possum, um, which I really liked that. Uh, again, this is a really natural looking texture for trees. And then for the leaves, you can see that it almost sort of looks like leaves, especially this one. So I'm choosing those textures for um, representation of the things that I want to try to show when I create the art quilt. Hi, this is Cherie from Soliloquies. Thank you for watching my process of choosing fabric for my art quilts. Please remember to like and subscribe if you would like to know more about what I do to create my art quilts. Thank you.